Hi, this is Sanjay Gangal from GIS Cafe. I'm here with Dr. Armando Guevara, uh, CEO of M7 Visual Intelligence. Hello, Armando. Hello, Jalan. How are you? Uh, I'm doing great. Uh, um, how's the show been going for you? Well, it's been very, it's very good show for us. Uh, it's sort of living a paradigm shift in the industry at this point as we are moving rapidly into uh, the new digital world. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, and uh, what are you showing here at your booth? Well, currently we are bringing to the uh, market a, a new technology in, 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 the, in the sensor industry. Uh, basically, our company, Visual Intelligence, aimed to bring to market a, an ubiquitous uh, digital imaging camera. Most cameras today are monolithic, single-use, and with this architecture, we aim to provide a modular, scalable, multi-application system. What you see here is what is called the ARCA. It's the Arch Retinal Camera Array. It's ma mainly what we would call an imaging docking station. Um, it all starts here, but basically what we do is then bring populate the array with one or more um, uh, camera modules and for example oops, this uh, this array here represents what would be equivalent to a median format camera with RGB colors with RGB colors yeah this is a very simple a very economical system mm -hmm. then the user can grow with the technology for example now he wants to escalate to larger frame mm -hmm. type and then we can just bring two more camera modules and, and now we have a larger frame system all using the same base architecture. If the user wanted to do more than just orthos then by rotating the array he could achieve what eventually is like a push broom device by looking backwards or forwards and later and collect either oblique, 3D and even panoramic type of applications. As you move into image refusion, then you can bring two more, two arrays together, and you interlock them. And, and this interlocking now provides for a bay for, say, a multispectral type of system. Um, because the um, device is fairly small and light, it can be co-mounted with any other sensor, and that's what we call COCO, the co-mounting and co-registering of sensors, which is one of our technologies. At this event, we realize that the line between medium format and large frame format is kind of becoming obscure. So I have stated that the time of the frame definition, which comes from the analog system, is past overdue. It's, mm -hmm. it's really an obsolete concept. So I've stated, you know, the frame size concept has died, mm -hmm. long live the pixel. Mm -hmm. uh, because at the end of the day, really it's about collection and how much you, you spend in doing that collection and the value and the quality of the imagery that you bring to, uh, the, end, to the end user. Okay, and uh, any new announcements you want to share with us? Certainly, we are very pleased to uh, show and share here uh, that the RS-150 system, which is our first product, has been released. It has been certified by the USGS and is ready to ship uh, to our end users. Okay. And uh, what type of uh, companies would be able to use your products? Basically, uh, all the companies that are in the business of collecting imagery, uh, be for um, you know forestry applications, urban applications, the traditional sort of mapping collection uh, community, as well as the military uh, for a variety of you know uh, sort of SOD applications. And uh, do you primarily sell in USA or worldwide? It's worldwide. Yeah, our company has worldwide reach. Uh, okay. And uh, what do you see coming in the future in the next 12 months? Uh, in the next 12 months, what you will see is our sensor evolve and bring the premise of scalability. Okay. Uh, typically, when you buy a sensor uh, and then you need more capacity, you typically have to buy yet another sensor or pay for a very expensive upgrade, but requires a change in the technology itself. Mm -hmm. So what you will see is our sensor evolve to fulfill that vision of bringing to market an ubiquitous system that will escalate and grow with user needs. Uh, that's great. Uh, and how can people find out more about uh, visual intelligence? You are welcome to visit at our website, which is visualintel.com. And you can also call us at 713-917-8300. Uh, uh, thank you very much, Armando. Have a great show. Thank you, Sayyid. Pleasure to be with you today.